Hello and welcome to Copilot 3. My name is Jeff, I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. In this short video, we're gonna look at some of the edit and ask prompts that we can use with Copilot. So let's go ahead and get started with the first exercise, exercise one. In this exercise, we have some names and scores. We'd like to highlight the top three scores. Maybe we're not sure how, so let's see if Copilot can help. Copilot. Now before I type in our prompt, let's just take a look at this view prompts button. And here we can see we have create, understand, edit, and ask. We can go into edit, and these are the kinds of prompts that we can use. So we want to ask Copilot to highlight the top three scores. Okay, and it says looking at B8 to C22, here's a conditional formatting rule to review and apply, top three items, and if this looks like what I want, I can just go ahead and click apply. And what it's actually doing is it's actually applying conditional formatting, which is awesome, because rather than highlighting the top three scores as of right now, since there's a conditional formatting rule, if the scores change, it's gonna dynamically update that formatting. For example, let's say Robert retakes the test and he gets 100. As we can see, the conditional formatting dynamically adjusts that formatting. And if we want to make any changes to this conditional formatting rule, what we can do is just go to conditional formatting, manage rules. And this is the rule that was set up by Copilot. And it's a first draft. We can always make changes if we don't like it. For example, we could edit rule, we could change the formatting, and we could even change the number of scores. Maybe we want five. And maybe instead of yellow, we'd prefer the fill to be orange. We can click OK and OK. So Copilot was able to basically set up the basic conditional formatting framework, and then we could always make changes as desired. Let's go to the next exercise, exercise two. Let's say we have some names and scores, and let's say we wanna do some sorting or filtering on this range instead. So let's say filter this table to show the top five scores. Okay, and it says here's a change to review and apply, apply a top five filter. If we like it, we can click apply, and now this has been filtered. Let's go ahead and undo. Let's say filter the table to only show scores greater than 50. All right, it says sure, here's a filter to apply. We click apply and now we've got it. All right, let's go ahead and undo. And what about sorting? Sort the table descending by score. All right, we can click apply and now it's sorted by score. Now, at the end of the day, if I was gonna sort this, I probably would not use Copilot personally because I know how to sort and how easy it is to sort, so I would have done the sort command manually. But the point is we can see the direction of this, which is that we can use natural language to ask Copilot to do commands on our workbook, which can be very helpful for users. All right, let's go to the next exercise. Exercise three. In this exercise, we're gonna ask Copilot to explain a formula that we encounter. So for example, we open this workbook, we see this data range, and then we come across this formula. And we don't understand the function, and we don't understand the function arguments. So let's see if Copilot can help explain this for us. I'm gonna select this formula, and I'm gonna do a control C copy. Then I'm gonna come over here, and I'm gonna say, Copilot, please explain this formula. And I'm gonna control V paste and it breaks down exactly what this function does and each of its function arguments. This formula calculates the total amount from the amount column in the table where department column equals 100. Sum ifs, that's the function, is used to sum values that meet multiple criteria. Table three, amount, that's the first argument, specifies the range to sum, so that's the column of numbers we're adding. The next argument, table three, department num, specifies the range to evaluate for the criteria and 100 is that criteria. So it's saying add up the values in the amount column, but only include those rows where the department number column is equal to our department. And this is the breakdown that it's able to provide. So I don't know about you, but sometimes I open up a workbook that someone else created and I encounter a formula and I'm like, what is this thing doing? And so now we can see that Copilot can help explain those types of formulas for us. All right, and those are a couple of types of prompts for editing and asking questions of Copilot. Hopefully this has been helpful. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day. Hey, Excel user, if you ever need to create summary reports, check out my Pivot Table for Beginners video. It starts at the beginning and shows how to store the data transactions in a table and then how to summarize those transactions with a Pivot Table report. I hope it helps unlock the incredible power of Pivot Tables. This video is a production of Excel University. 